to talk this time around about the Francis brothers and the Saint Lucia Labour Party. But so many things have happened since then, and I want to stay au courant. So I just not, might not concentrate on the Francis brothers for now. They'll be time enough for that. What I want to talk about is this notion that people have that politicians are real people. They're not. Politicians are a breed apart. The word truth does not mean to the politician what it means to other people. The word truth comes across to the politician has nothing to do with dictionary meanings. The only word that is important to the politician is expedience. So, the latest thing in St. Lucia is Richard Frederick got betrayed, he got kicked out of the party, all that king is next, all that this one is the dark and that one is not wild. You know, people just don't understand they are such suckers. We are such suckers. The politicians have one thing in common. They are blood suckers and we are the blood bank. When are you going to get that right? We are the blood bank. We carry the sustenance for politicians regardless of what's true. So, quickly, how did John Compton come about? How did he not become about? John Compton came about when he came back here from wherever as a lawyer and ran for elections with George Charles and the Labour Party and John Compton won and got into politics and the House by the Labour Party. In due course, and I'm cutting this short, there was a, 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 a war with George Charles and, and John Compton who considered himself far more uh, intellectually superior to George Charles and the end of that story is John Compton got others to leave the Labour Party and other existing parties to join him and they formed the United Workers Party. That's the years putting it all together. Betrayal, deceit, um, pretense, all of that went into the formation of the United Workers Party. I don't even go into the Labour Party and deceit and, and fooling each other and, and cross, crossing floors and all that kind of stuff. The floor crossing is epitomized by the Shalibar, that is uh, Mr. Snap. Then there's what was done to um, Julian Hunt or what he did to himself. Then there's Brother George who was declared a Satan, the, the, uh, the great Satan from a little party platform. And all other before that, there were fisticuffs. You could count on reporters used to go to the party conventions just to cover the fights and the cussings inside and outside the convention. And all of that, we have tolerated, we have encouraged, we have fallen out with our own families over. Why? Because we are suckers, suckers in our own way. But really what we are, like I said earlier, we are the blood bank from which the politicians take their sustenance. So the latest is Frederick. So what's news? And the latest is Shastley. What's news about that? They probably will go across Shastley by the time of the next elections. Maybe Richard Frederick will be taken into the Labour Party. Ha, ha, ha. Speaking of which, yesterday Richard Frederick was in the House really letting, letting loose on the United Workers Party, his former party, and saying that Sir John must be rolling over in his grave. I got news for Richard. Sir John never wanted Richard Bedrick in the party. He accepted him under duress. And the first opportunity he had to talk to the American representatives from the embassy in Barbados, he told them that he was going to see to it that Frederick did not rise in the party. It's a long story. I don't have time for it. Bottom line, the United Workers Party never wanted Richard Frederick, although Richard Frederick won the election for them in 2006. Stay tuned. I got a lot more to tell you about politicians because we have to offload those guys. The people have to find a way to find their own way because that's the only way they're going to make it. To find
find our own way, and that might mean going back in time.